Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Super excited about today. Today is another Clash of Clans reclap for Clan War Leagues for December 2020. But before we get the video started, then guys know we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There'll be a link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there. For right now, let's get into this recap. I have four really cool attacks I'm going to show you guys today from four of my clan mates. One's going to be one of my tech. One's going to be Gabe's attack, one's going to be Venom's attack, and one is going to be King's attack because those are all really cool attacks I want to show you guys, and I think they turned out really well. We did win this clan of leagues with a perfect seven days, so we did not lose whatsoever, which was awesome. We also got the gold league one for Clash of Clans clan or leagues, which is sick since we were gold two, now we're gold one. And you can see right here we popped off really hard too, and we kind of destroyed last day. So those are going to be attacks I'm going to be showing you for right now though. Let's go show you the first attack by King. So here's the first attack by King. If you guys don't know, King is actually from the Dragonville community who also plays Clash of Clans as well. So he's actually joined our clan, support us out for clan releaks and send me some CC troops. He's a chat, by the way, because he's a max tunnel 13 almost. I think he's only missing his Archer Towers and Teslas. That's what he kind of told me recently. So yeah, but you can see for his first attack, he attacked the tunnel 12, which was actually the number one player, which was pretty easy for him because basically what he did, he did E-drag to start out and loons, and he kind of just overwhelmed them the base and also got like heroes at the end to go clean on up so you'll actually see the queen will go to the core and clean up the stuff that it missed with the loons and also dragons missed so let's show you guys that right now i also play some music for you guys too in the background for this the attack so you can see first of all he started off with a queen walk and also had his actual siege push in then he dropped his loons on it and he actually raged up early on and also activated mortality once it got to the next uh inferno tower right here you can see and with that they actually pushed on in and then he just pushed on in like so he took care of that most of the stuff kind of just overwhelmed the base most of his loons did die to wizard towers unfortunately in the multi tower luckily though he had a bunch of e drags they had equivalent to four raged up near the end because they got distracted but you can actually see his queen right here coming in clutch max level cleaning out the town hall and also the wizard tower expo and also sweeper and also multi tower and basically they just easily clap that base at the end and the queen came in clutch and the queen wasn't there and it wasn't high enough level nor that the king was there and his ships were not high level this one might have been a challenge but since he was kind of like a max tunnel 13 was it really a threat more just a thought so yeah let's go show you guys our next attack now so here's our next attack the next attack is from gabe you guys don't know gabe's a youtube friend of mine i'm in the same clan as him because we both like playing clash clans he's a lot more hardcore you actually see him some weeks kick out a bunch of people in the clan who are inactive but you know what that's what i liked about the clan if you're active just even by a bit and you're on top of things you won't get kicked and he's, it's just a very good clan but um yeah uh here's gabe's attack this is gabe attacking the number eight in their clan he's just matching who we can match and how he starts out with the base is pretty straightforward he's actually going to do a queen walk in and he's actually going to drop miners to come from this side to wrap around the base to clean on up he also does take out the e drag for the cc with a queen by freezing it twice so let's actually show you guys that gameplay now so here start with the king and also baby drag the clean on bump on the outside once it cleans on up on the outside he will then drop his queen with a queen walk which will be focused on going into the center of the base with the roll breakers like so which is dope they'll take out that air defense and then they will also take out the e-drag he does have to freeze it twice unfortunately because his queen is not appropriate level actually his queen was appropriate level just was a max e-drag my bad missed looked at it and you didn't see he goes around the base with his actual miners to clean things up he actually got some of the miners to go for the core sometimes that can go wrong with this kind of attack the miners just go around the whole base and don't go to the center luckily most of his miners actually went to the center of the base and then he raged on melon up with a heal and he just popped off and destroyed everything he didn't even need to use his siege you can actually see he's still at a siege right there and uh cc is so he didn't have to use that so his number the number eight in their clan didn't really stand a chance but you know what it was still really good to see gay pop off so here's our third to last attack. This is a friend of ours, Venom. If you guys don't know, Venom is from the YouTube community, from the actual Dragonville community, and he's also been in our live streams and Twitch streams, and he's been supporting us there. And he's actually joined our clan for Clash of Clans. Not only does he play Dragonville, but Clash of Clans as well. So me and everybody just chatting up on stream and stuff, but then recently he's been using like Hog Riders, but he switched to Bowlers. So you'll see this is a Bowler attack strat he uses. And you'll notice early on, he'll do a Queen attack, right? He'll actually start his queen up here, lure out the e drag with some archers, and then the queen will go up and take out the e drag. Now, the weirdest thing about this attack I noticed he did that he actually he put the healers down after he took out the e drag. He didn't place like the healers down with the queen when he's taking out the drag, which I found that a bit confusing. And then he dropped the siege early on and targeted this. So I don't know really what was going through the thought process right there. Maybe he just forgot to place his healers or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him about it some other time. If you're, in the, if you're watching the video, Venom, let me know. So I'm just kind of curious. 
But you can see right here, he's going to do that. Then he's actually going to drop back to the end to clean on up. The problem with his attack, though, he actually ran out of time. That's what happened. So he got a perfect, like, 85% or something like that. And he just ran out of time for the attack, so it didn't go well. So let's actually show the gameplay right now. So we'll just speed this on up. You'll see you'll start learning out with the uh, bot. Uh, what is it called? It wasn't even archers, was it? It was wall breakers. Then he dropped his uh, queen and did that. You can see right there, though, that he actually did the queen and then dropped the healers after they took out the Edrak, which I don't get the whole point to that. That was a bit weird. But you can see his siege goes that way, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Then he drops his bullet on in. The worst thing that could have happened if most of his bullets went outside the base, but luckily they all went inside the base no matter what. You can see right here that he's kind of just rolling with it and throwing the bowlers on in. They're taking care of everything. Everything is like pretty low level. He did have bats so he could freeze the wizard towers and stuff. So they took off all the splash damage. There wasn't really much to do. And he had like a few troops left over. The problem was that he doesn't actually have enough troops to do enough damage. And also he didn't have enough time either, which was the biggest thing. Because Pekka's take a lot of time to walk over to places and also does bowlers. But the bats got there. But the bats barely ran out of time. But overall, this was a really good attack, man. I honestly... Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you attack next time and get an easy three star. I think most of his attacks were three stars and two stars this war, which was dope. But yeah, let's go show you the final attack for our Clan War League recap. It's gonna be one of my attacks. So let's go do that. Here we go. Here's my attack for Clan War Leagues. This is the day seven attack for me. So I can select attacking the second best player. And what I did right here is pretty simple. I actually did lightning strat. Now I, did, I took out the lightning on one side, and after I took out the lightning on one side, I just dropped the troops on in. And swarm the base and then i just had to make sure to keep an eye out luckily i got my royal champion and i've literally upgraded my royal champion like three times in this whole clan will leagues because early on it's like only 17 the 21 hours to 20 hours upgrading her and i literally have so much loot backed up that i can literally just keep upgrading her back to back and yeah so she's level three now which is dope. i'll probably have her level five after this video is done so we'll see what happens with that though and by the time we do next track clash cleanse video so we're gonna see right here we're gonna watch this attack like so pop off so you can see i start with the lightnings of course get rid of the air defense on that side into that side and then right here i get our troops on in we do a nice little queen walk and baby drags clear on up on the outside like so and the baby drag will actually lure out the clan castle troop which i planned and then it takes out that and also takes out the inferno tower which is dope we start dragging our dragons on in here i didn't mess this up a bit i was hoping the baby dragons would clean a little bit more i had some weird placement with the troops where i didn't know where i want to place them but i was fine the siege where i wanted to go and also took out the air defense along the way with the balloons which is nice and our troops kind of went around the base we had enough balloons left over to take care of all the other south side defenses and finally when the balloons got the rest of the base i actually had my um did i have a spell no i didn't have a spell i just had an overwhelming amount of troops i thought i had a spell or something like that to clean up at the end i was barely cutting close to time like i was barely the run out of time in that attack but luckily i activated the queen at the perfect moment near the end so that way you could speed up the attack by like one shotting things back to the back so that was pretty nice. So I got an easy three star on that one, which is dope. So yeah, our clan or leaks for this month for December 2020 was very much successful. We leveled up out of it. Perfect clan war league day. And also we versed the top clan and actually just destroyed them, which was sick. So it was kind of hilarious. We thought we had a problem with the number one clan in the league. But you know what? We just destroyed them. It was easy, easy. Our clan just so good. But yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video today and you did find it cool, make sure to smash the like button, Dragon Hunter, subscribe button, and don't forget we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There'll be a link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there. And while you're down there, don't forget to check out our dope Christmas merch. It is Logmas. We do have our own Christmas merch, so if you're in the wintry season, you can snack some of this. But yeah, until then, thank you to all the members for supporting the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough, so thank you guys again for being awesome. And until then, Jimmy, out.